Billions of years of evolutionary advancement. And then we have Cassie. Wow. This is like the Discovery Channel. Happy day, I'm glad! <laughs> and welcome back to the richest yet most dysfunctional family in San Michelo. We are hanging out with the Kakamata Big Booty family. They just had a party last night, and it didn't go as well as planned. First of all, it was in the morning. Second of all, Janice got really mad at Hanzo for cheating and threw a drink at his face. So we're gonna catch up with this family, and hopefully today things will be a little bit more tame. And by that I mean, it, it'll probably be worse. <sighs> Here we are. We've got beautiful, beautiful Judy watching a little TV right now, even though it's off. Our very, very tense and angry Janice is at work. What is Melody doing? Oh, sorry, Melody, I didn't mean to. Melody is thinking about showering. I can see the outline of her delicious behind when she's standing here. She's thinking about it. She, she likes to have a good think before she gets into the shower. Does the carpet match the drapes there, Melody? Huh? I, I am seeing some blue down here, so it does match. She's not a liar. All right, Hanzo's asleep. Let's go, baby. He's just snoring away. The girls cleaned up everything after this party, and thankfully, they just left this cake here. So he's gonna take a piece. He's gonna take a piece because today is a very special day. We are actually hosting, and you better be excited, Melody, we are hosting a foreign exchange student. Janice figured that little Judy Big Booty is constantly just playing basketball, skipping class, acting like she's rich and she doesn't have to do anything. So we are hosting a foreign exchange student from the south of China. And we're really excited that he gets to stay in this really beautiful house. We're excited to see like who he is. I picture just like some skinny little guy who, you know, is really young and wants a new experience in life. We're hoping that it goes well. He should be here any minute. Can you please stop watching? Oh, she's smiling, wow. Melody's very, oh, she's smiling. Okay, why don't you, why don't you turn the TV on? Yeah, why don't, why don't you play a game, huh? Play Party Frenzy. It's a party for one. That's usually what Melody's all about. But someday we'll make her friends. Right, Mel? Hanzo, are you gonna eat the cake? Wake up, you idiot. Ah, the humor and hijinks festival is in town and it's got kind of Chinese music. Maybe we can take the foreign exchange student to it. Oh, here we go. He's very uncomfortable. He needs to pee really badly. He's waving hello to the world even though he just cheated on his wife. And he looks a little bit ashamed. He looks a little guilty, so hopefully he gets over it. Janice is happy. She just got home from work. She's having a piece of cake that wasn't even offered to her. She looks angry, but she seems- <laughs> she's trying to smile. She's trying to get a smile out. She just- she- you know, she's had a lot of Botox, so it's kind of hard for her to get the right facial expression going. Janice hasn't told anybody else in the house that they are actually hosting a foreign exchange student, so hopefully... No one's mad about it. He- he wants Pepto-Bismol. Okay, why don't you pee, Hanzo? Oh, because I told him to eat cake. Okay, we'll upgrade it. Oh, you can't. Use and sanitize it. Use and sanitize the toilet, Hanzo. When the foreign exchange student gets here, you can get him to do all of that. Take a thoughtful shower, okay, baby? Okay, he should be here any minute. Where is he? What are you doing, Melody? Yeah, though. Melody is excited. Yes. Oh, wait, that's not Aliva. Melody. That's Reiko. Why is Reiko here? Hey, neighbor, I'm bored. Want to hang out for a bit? We can socialize or do whatever your heart desires. <gasps> Hanzo. He's very embarrassed right now. <laughs> Oh, he stinks. Oh, he's- Why do you stink so bad? I thought I told you to shower! Oh, Hanzo's coming to say hello to this woman he is cheating on his wife for. It's very adorable. He's very- Oh no. Oh no no. She's trying to be nice, but he stinks so badly. I thought I told you to shower. And she really likes him. Like, I can't believe she came back and is being romantic. And still likes him, even though he's, you know, stinky. Oh, Judy's here. Judy thinks that the foreign exchange student is here, but she doesn't really see anything. Just these two assholes flirting. Melody's here too! Everyone's excited for the foreign exchange student to come in. Where is he? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh! Someone's coming and they don't look good! Oh! Again! He's saying he peed his pants! I can't imagine this situation getting any worse. Oh! The, the foreign exchange student is here! He does not look how I thought he would look. Kimono Davis, hey? Wow, he's buff! Where's Davis going? So Kajomo here just ran right past the drama. Skipped right to basketball. I don't know why he showed up without a shirt on. This is not the exchange student that I thought we were gonna get. Like, I thought that... 
you know, I thought he was gonna be a nice, a nice little innocent guy. He's got tattoos. Okay, let's let's ask him about his day. Okay, Melody, Melody, why don't you take a hike? Why don't you take a hike, Melody? Oh, and there goes Janice. Were you guys expecting this when I said foreign exchange student? Because this is not what I was expecting. He's kind of into it. He doesn't really know what to make of this this big booty, but he's trying, you know. There are only two beds in this house, so. Our little guy Kajomo is gonna have to find a place to go. Kajomo Davis though? Like why is his last name Davis? It just doesn't seem very fitting. I think Judy and Booty is finally- Oh, both of them are acquiring charisma skills on each other. That's like first base in SimWorld. Oh, Hanzo just got yelled at and he is back to playing Counter-Strike. What he's best at. Janice is sleeping with Melody. I guess that means that these two. Nope. All right, okay, nothing going on here. Oh, Kajomo, <gasps> have a piece of the welcome cake. What are you, where are you taking the welcome cake? Kajomo, are you gonna eat the entire welcome cake? Oh, okay. So he just put a plate on top of the welcome cake. It looks like we have a maid. We have a maid. What a respectful culture he comes from. He's just doing some dishes and he's happy. And he doesn't need anything! Meanwhile, everyone else needs to piss their ass. Kajomo was like the most stable- oh. She's awake. She's pissed. She still isn't over the whole Reiko scenario. Kajomo, please, th this is normal. Why are you so angry? Why don't you take a- take a shower? Janice is pissed, she's starving. But she's taking a nice- <gasps> Kajomo?! Are you cooking for everyone? I mean, he's acquiring cooking skills left and right. He's sitting there smiling. Have you ever met a nicer guy in your life? Oh, oh. Even, even. He, even when he cuts himself, he's happy. He's pouring salad dressing all over the place. Janice is a snob, and snobs like to critique the work of others and prefer the companionship of fellow snobs. Janice is actually judging or a little guy who picks his ear while he's cooking. At least he's cooking something, Janice. Who is using our pisser? Who the fuck is this? Hanzo? Hanzo didn't even invite her over. Who is that? She used our toilet and she left. What? Oh. Oh, and Miss, Miss Snobby Pants here is just having a salad, hey? And smiling. So just because he's not around now, you're gonna actually say you like it. And she's thinking about herself. Perfect. That's Janice for you. Hey Janice, you better clean that up. He's acquiring so many skills. I can't even believe this. What are you gonna do now, Kojomo? You're gonna empty the trash? Kojomo, where have you been all of my life? Janice empties her trash into the empty garbage can. She doesn't even realize that there's no bag in it. Oh, look who's awake. Why don't you go sit out there with her, Kojomo? You're taking the trash out again? Who is this guy? I don't even believe him. The girls are gossiping about the new guy right now. <laughs> Judy's kind of like <laughs> saying like, leave him alone, he's mine. And Melody's saying like, I'm not even interested. Like, don't even worry about it. That's not even, that's not even a thing. He's trying to impress Janice. I play basketball, She's video playing. games. Whoa, I like the sun. <laughs> I, I tan. Uh, they like each other. They're growing on each other. You should vacuum and take out the trash more. You don't do that enough. Uh, okay, for you I will, I suppose. Okay, Judy, what I want you to do is I want you to go up to this foreign exchange student and I want you to lay out the vibe. Where is he? He's not on the roof. Oh my god, he's going to play video games. What else is new? Let's hug him. Let's ask about Woohoo. You know, woohoo. No, but you want it, bitch. <gasps> oh, they're hugging. Oh, Tell a dramatic story, uh, compliment, uh, complain about problems. Um, <laughs> no, Judy. Show off your outfit. Okay, they seem to be growing on each other a lot, but I just, I feel like, I mean, Kajomo's humoring her, but I feel like she's not really his type. Kajomo's just outgoing. Outgoing sims need to socialize more often, but are emotionally strengthened by doing so. Okay. Judy is a romantic. Romantic sims tend to be flirty and infuse their lives with romance often. This is very romantic. Judy's coming in. No concept of private space. Hi, foreign exchange student. How are you doing? 
He's such a laid back guy that even on the shitter, he'll talk to her. He keeps trying to walk away and I don't know where he's trying to go. Because Judy is, she's going in pretty hard, but it's not working. Man, this is like the basketball house. I think that, I think that our foreign exchange student is really having an impact on how everybody's acting. She went from screaming at people to bouncing a ball. Let's see if Hanzo makes this basket. He made it! Atta boy! We already have one jealous woman in the house. Hopefully Judy. Okay, she's taking a bath. She won't know that I think Kajomo has a thing. I think Kajomo has a thing for Melody. Oh, she's talking about garbage. I, my life is garbage. I am garbage. I like cake. She's saying, you walked here. I felt like dying. But now I feel a little less like dying. And he's saying, I want salad. No! Well, that's a start. Work for Janice starts in about an hour. Ugh, gross. So these guys are just here eating their salads at separate tables. I mean, Melody is a little bit awkward, and she did promise Judy that she wouldn't move in on her man, so I can totally see why this is happening. Judy's at school? Judy never goes to school. Oh my god, as usual. I'm so sorry, Kajomo. At least he's keeping a happy face on. Okay, Melody's putting out the vibe. She knows that Asians love karaoke. It's not, not the best karaoke I've ever heard. But... What matters is that she's having fun. Kajomo. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's going down. It's going down. Judy's latest classroom assignment is a group project. Her group mates are all pretty smart. Should she try to contribute as much as they do or just let them do the work? It's Judy Big Booty. Let them do it. Oh! Ah! I'm okay. It was really hard to get Hanzo in love. What? But this. It just seems so natural. Wait, where are they going? Oh. Really romantic. So Judy McBooty is at school right now, which is strange because she never goes to school. But on the bright side, it really gives Melody space to actually talk to one of the guys in the house because usually Judy is like, I want all the attention. Look at this. They're just spending time. They're just having some good times together. Learning how to swim. They have so much in common. All right, guys, you ever going to get out of the pool or? Oh, he's upset that she's not paying any attention to him. Melody, can you get the fuck out of the pool? Little beach side love. She's giving him a rose. Wow, she's so futuristic. No. Kajomo learned that Melody is single. You know, Hanzo, even if a woman isn't single, Hanzo goes in, but Kajomo is such a respectful guy. And she's like, vacuum. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a, that's a real kiss right there. I did not think that the first person to actually find love in this house was going to be Melody. <laughs> Maybe he should walk in front of her because that walk isn't very attractive. Were they... Are they doing what it- nice pajamas. What it- <laughs> They're making love in- in their jam jams? Wow. This is like the Discovery Channel. Oh wow! Oh wow! Wow! Her pajama pants are still on, you know! Okay, why does her foot- Keep kicking- <laughs> <laughs> Melody, you dog. Now she wants a pair of golden handcuffs. She's into the weird shit. She's into the foot shit. She's into the handcuffs. Uh, I'm not gonna judge. Thankfully, Judy has no idea what's going on around here. So, so, so. Ooh, how did she know? How did Judy know? She was at school. I've never seen Judy so upset. Judy is heartbroken. She just wants to go to bed. Now Hanzo's all alone in his clown shoes. Well, you tried, Hanzo. You tried to cheer your daughters up, but you have no idea what's going on in this house. You know what I think you should do, Kajomo? Oh, he wakes up very flirty. I think you should wake up and do a little grilling. Hmm, what do you think? Tofu dogs, veggie burgers? Do veggie burgers. Just so everyone can have what they want, you know? Everyone likes a good veggie burger. And Kajomo, he delivers. He's a great cook. He's a great guy. He's just doing some grilling. There you go. He knows what he's he knows what he's up to. Oh, he's feeling flirty and in love. Melody's playing basketball because she wants to be more like her lover. Oh, Janice just got a promotion. It seems like everybody's doing pretty good. And he made hot dogs and there's already mustard on it, so you don't have to do it yourself. 
Okay, so what is he gonna make for himself? I think he's gonna have something grilled too. He is a vegetarian and he doesn't really like veggie burgers, so I'm going to make him have some tofu dogs. I really feel like we could learn a lesson from this guy and just like being satiated with life and whatever life gives to you. Like he's just such a good guy. He's feeling flirty, feeling sassy. He really wants a burger and fr is that what you wanted? Is that what you wanted instead of hot dogs? I can't read your mind, you know? Just let me know next time. Always oh, happy. Not a boy. Like, look how beautiful and re ah! Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Oh shit! No, 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 no! Komojo, no! Komojo, no, Komojo, Komojo! Help, 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 help! Where is everybody? They're all hiding! You cowards! They're waiting at the fire exit, I suppose. He's getting, he's getting pretty crispy. Oh no, 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 no! Komojo, Komojo, no! Melody. I can't do anything! Come on, Joe, no! I barely knew thee! He was the best thing that ever happened to this family. Look at all the food he made for everyone. You guys, the barbecue's still on fire! If I call the fire department, huh? Come on, Joe. <gasps> Melody. <sighs> Melody's pleading. Ah, Melody's pleading, more. please. Komojo Davis is truly gone after Melody's ardent appeal fell on death's deaf ears. <gasps> Melody. She's just giving him the death glare. He's... He invented the death glare, so... At least we'll have all these hot dogs to remember Komojo. What is it? Like, his time stop? Where is it? What are you guys still doing in here? Can't you see death is here? Please plead for Komojo. <gasps> Melody has to go through this alone. Oh, at least Janice is here. Something stinks. No, there's only four members in the family now. Come here, guys. And the urns in the middle of the kitchen where Komojo used to cook. Oh, there's still a fire. Oh, shit. Mel, can somebody... Please, guys. Don't. Please don't. Hanzo, what, what are you, very sad? We all are. Oh, my... And... Janice stinks. Where are you going? Are you going back to the elevator, Judy? I think Judy's dying of exhaustion. Um, I'm gonna put Judy to bed. Why is Janice eating burgers? I mean, I guess we all deal with our sadness in different ways. Hey, Hanzo, stinky pants. Everybody's dying of starvation and is eating the food. And death has exited the building. Judy was gonna actually try to flirt with him, but I guess not. This is the saddest meal I've ever seen. And I really liked Kimojo. Kajomo? I don't even remember. What I think you should do, Melody, is finish your hot dog, mourn Kimojo, leave a sugar skull offering, engrave an epitaph. Oh, he dumped my dumpling real good. Beautiful words. Oh no. <laughs> Melody! The poor thing! He dumped all of our dumplings real good, Melody. I miss him too, like... I, I don't even know... I don't even know what to say. He died so quickly. Oh, Hanzo! This is so sad! I'm going to end this video here. Rest in peace, Kamojo. Gone too soon. He dumped on all of our dumplings and I'm just... I'm sad! I didn't want him to leave. I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. If you did, please give it one of these. And make sure you subscribe to give that gloomy subscribe button a bit of a pick me up. I'll see you guys on the next one.